in an effort to protect the country's natural resources, mainly wildlife, from illegal hunting, emphasis is now being directed towards the law enforcement component of conservation. With various tools in place, such as the Ministry of Environment and Tourism DOC unit, which offers a combination of detection, tracking and apprehension capabilities, this should curb the onslaught on species such as rhino, pangolin and elephant. These animals are under particular threat from poaching syndicates due to the value of their products in the black market. We are confident that this will be a formidable unit in a fight against wildlife crime and in the future. They will also make a measurable and a tangible difference towards um, augmenting current law enforcement and conservation initiatives. Evidently, progress has been made in curbing poaching incidents. Reported rhino poaching incidents peaked at 95 in 2015. That figure dropped significantly to only 35 incidents recorded as of August this year. But despite this progress, U.S. Ambassador Lisa Johnson notes Namibia is still not poacher-free. This has left the ministry to constantly introduce innovative approaches to combat these crimes. Currently, the U.S. government is funding ongoing projects in Namibia in the wildlife protection area that are valued at more than 20 million U.S. dollars. We want to stamp out that illegal poaching and wildlife trafficking that is harming Namibia's economy and affording opportunity for other criminal activity. Four dogs have been trained to search buildings, vehicles and baggage, as well as look for ammunition and illegal wildlife products. During the inauguration of the Ministry of Environment and Tourism Dog Unit for Wildlife Protection and Law Enforcement at the Waterberg Wildlife Protection and Law Enforcement Center, recently Minister Shifeta called upon those involved in poaching to refrain from such activities. The dog unit will be used in the Atosha National Park, Bwabwata Park and all other conservation areas.